Hi, it's Mark from the Antique Wireless Association. It's a nice rainy day today, so I thought I'd spend some time at the bench seeing if I could get this uh, Crosley Model 148 working. It's a 1932 era 5-tube receiver. And the nice thing about working on an old receiver like this is that I don't have to worry about testing any of the electrolytic or paper capacitors because I know they're all bad. And I probably have replacements in my junk box over in the tomb of the unknown capacitor. But what I don't know is if the capacitors I have are any good. But I have a way to find out because the Antique Wireless Association has a printed circuit board to build up a nice capacitor leakage tester. This item here. This allows me to test capacitor leakage under actual working voltage conditions. Uh, and if I'm testing electrolytic, I can actually reform the electrolytics. So let's put this to its paces and uh, see what it'll do. So here's my test setup. I've got the capacitor leakage tester that has been built up from the circuit board offered by the Antique Wireless Association Skunk Works. I've got two meters. This meter will be displaying the leakage current through the capacitor in milliamps. And this meter will be displaying the voltage across the capacitor. So my, for my first test, I've just picked uh, this capacitor out of my junk box. It's a uh, uh, 0.05 mic at 600 volt capacitor. Starting out, we'll set the voltage adjustment to zero. And uh, we'll put the switch in the discharge position. Turn the unit on. We can see that initially there's 9 volts across the capacitor. I'll put it in test position. And we'll increase the voltage up to the rated voltage of the capacitor. And we can see we're getting a little bit of leakage current, but you'd expect that if it's just current going into charge. Now you'd expect the leakage current through the capacitor to diminish down to zero if the dielectric was perfect. And there we are, we can't get quite up to the 600 volts of the uh, capacitor rating. Uh, looks like the limit on this unit is about 530 volts. But I am seeing about 28 microamps of current through the leakage tester. Now, if this was an electrolytic capacitor, this might be in an acceptable range, although I'd like to see it a little lower. But considering this is not an electrolytic capacitor, I think uh, I'm going to insist that any capacitor that I choose to keep has zero leakage. The fact that there's uh, 28 microamps of leakage through there now indicates to me that this capacitor is failing and there's no sense putting it in another product. So let's uh, put this in discharge, turn the voltage back down to zero and try another capacitor. So my next capacitor will be this uh, 0.22 at 200 volt DC capacitor and uh, we'll see if this thing works any better. So into the test position, increasing the voltage. And we'll run that right up to around 200 volts. And we can see that the capacitor charged and then the leakage current dropped down to zero. So this, in fact, capacitor this is, is still good and worth keeping. Uh, we should give this a run on an electrolytic and see how it does. But remember, discharge the capacitor, return the voltage adjustment to zero before you start the next test. about a 10 mic at uh, 450 volts DC. Now this capacitor, you can see I'm up around the uh, voltage rating of the capacitor and I've stabilized at about uh, half a milliamp. But it's not just uh, continuing to go down, it's moving around a little bit. There's something going on in this capacitor that ultimately is not going to be good. The capacitor is definitely failing and it's nothing I'd want to put back into a piece of equipment.
Here's a newer capacitor, rated 47 mics at 450 volts. Put it in the test position. And increase the voltage. One thing you notice here is I increase the voltage. The current increases dramatically, but that's just charging current for the capacitor. And we're going to run this up to uh, its rated voltage of 450. We'll stop right there around 420. And one thing you notice is that the, uh, the leakage current, which is actually the charging current, is diminishing rapidly. So this might be a capacitor worth keeping. We'll let it sit here for a little bit and see where it goes. So this capacitor is a keeper here with uh, uh, 42 microamps of current through it. And it looks like this will get better over time at 450 volts. So I think and that, that's what you should probably look for in, a, uh, in an electrolytic capacitor. But this is definitely a keeper. For more information on the AWA Capacitor DC Leakage Tester Printed Circuit Board, visit our website, www.antiquewireless.org slash homepage slash PCB dash item dash four.